All right, what's up everybody? This is Betty Garza, local real estate agent right here in South Florida. This video is gonna tell you the pros and cons about Palm Beach National located right in Lake Worth, Florida, and we're getting at it right here. All right, so this video is gonna tell you the pros and cons of Palm Beach National, which is an amazing neighborhood located right in Lake Worth, Florida. And this is gonna tell you the pros and the cons, what you need to know before making that big decision of moving to this neighborhood. I'm getting phone calls, emails, text messages every single day, and I absolutely love it. People that are looking to relocate right here to South Florida, this channel is going to tell you everything you need to know when making that decision you know i've got your back when relocating right here to florida so there's also a link below where you can click on there set up a one-on-one -on -one and we can just chat and talk about a little bit more about what you're looking for and if south florida is the right location for you all right so this is the pros and cons as you can see palm beach national right behind me i'm actually at the clubhouse located right in the middle of the neighborhood and this clubhouse the first pro i want to talk about is that it has a golf course so if you're a golfer and a golf course is something that's important to you definitely this might be the neighborhood for you so this golf course is actually open to the public they have an 18 hole it's very popular it's got a great scenery it's got you know water located on the golf course ratings when i looked online were really good and also they have a driving range that is located here i want to pop in there show you guys what that looks like and the clubhouse actually you can host events here you can book the clubhouse for a wedding for 80th 90th birthday parties whatever the occasion is it is available for that they have a bar that's located inside they actually have different events that happen right here in this clubhouse in palm beach national so let me go ahead peek in there and show you guys what that looks like okay so we're located right here this is the driving range right behind me this is actually the back of the clubhouse as you can see they've got music going i literally was walking to the golf course to kind of show you guys the driving range and one of the employees came out and offered me this amazing golf cart so we're going to take this golf cart right around the golf course i'm going to show you guys a little bit more a little more in depth about you know palm beach national and the golf course that they have to offer so if golf is for you you definitely it's public so even if you don't move to this neighborhood you can still come here play basketball so let me show you a little bit of what the golf course looks like this will probably be the best pro of this video okay so we have the driving range here he said this is hole number one and over there is actually 18 so we're gonna whip around And look, it's a Tuesday morning. It is beautiful out here. It's a little hot. That's why I wore my workout clothes today. But check out this golf course. It is absolutely gorgeous. Told you they've got water on the golf course. It's just super, super cool. I have something to confess. This is the only the second time I drive a golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> so see the driving range comes out all the way here which is super cool so check out this golf course look at all this greenery all these trees super super cool all right, so here we are still on the golf course. I figured I'd just give you guys a little bit more information outside of the golf course and the other, so besides that's pro number one is the golf course, which has an amazing reputation and views and it's always um, open. So they have events that go on here and stuff like that. So the first con I wanna tell you about Palm Beach National is that and this could be a pro or a con for you so the con is that it doesn't have an association that kind of gives guidelines for homeowners to follow but it does have a civic association so the civic association what does that mean that means that you are not required 
to pay any fees with this association. It is a civic association, so it is totally voluntary. It is literally only $40 a year for this civic association. And what they do with that $40, because there are over 200 homeowners in this neighborhood, and with the $40 that the homeowners that decide to pay it, they have different events here. So at this clubhouse, they literally host like breakfast with Santa. Um, they have an Easter egg hunt with the townhouses that are located in the middle of the neighborhood. And though that is considered Palm Beach National, those townhouses actually do have their own association. So they have some rules that they follow. With the single family houses that are located here in Palm Beach National, uh, they have events for them. So the Easter egg hunt happens there breakfast with Santa they have a adult social that they host right here at the clubhouse where they have open bar and music and food so much fun it may be a con for those that like the associations that kind of give guidelines to homeowners as far as what color they can paint their house keeping up with the yard things like that that doesn't happen here so there are some homeowners in the area that don't take as much or give as much TLC as other homes and and stuff like that so you will see some some here and there but literally that is at a minimum the homes here uh, the homeowners are definitely proud to be homeowners here so it's not that big of a deal but it is a con for some okay so pro number two of Palm Beach National is that these are all single family homes that range from three bedroom to four bedroom two bathroom to three bathrooms and these single family homes were built between 1963 to around 1995. And these homes are all located on a large lot, about a quarter acre. So every house has lots of space in between, as you can see behind me. You're not on top of each other. You do get a lot of privacy, depending where the house is situated on, on the lot, you have, most you have a large backyard with either a pool or enough space to add a pool later on, if that is your choice. These houses, just depending on what upgrades the current owner has made, they, a lot of them do have the upgrades inside, but there are some that do not and have a lot of the original. So a lot of the people that live here have been here for years. Some owners have been here over 20 years, so maybe those homes are a little original. And then you have what has changed over the last couple of years are a lot of like families that have moved into this area, so with children. So there are a mix of everything here. So you have people, seniors, you have young families. So when they have all of those events that happen, you see a mix of everybody and everything. That where I was coming from on this side, behind me, that's where the golf course is. The specific homes behind me right now have the townhouses that are located in the middle of the neighborhood and then on this side that's behind me those houses have a canal that is behind them so some of them are waterfront and some have the golf course view or the little neighborhood of townhouses right behind them con number two that I want to talk about with these homes is that the prices have gone up so I don't know about five years ago maybe six years ago you could have purchased a house in here in the mid 200s now over the last two years just like it has everywhere else the prices have gone up so now the median price of palm beach national is the lower 400s into the upper 500s depending where in the neighborhood the house is located does it have a pool is it on the golf course what upgrades have been done so that's the con that the prices have gone up but in my honest opinion, they are still very affordable. If this, if like a large lot, a single family home is something you've been looking for, this is still a great neighborhood to move to, uh, depending exactly on what it is you're looking for because it offers so much. It does not have a community pool, but it does have the golf course. A lot of the homes here do have a pool already installed. If not, I'm sure they can make some recommendations. The people that live here, seem to be super nice as you can see the person at the golf course offered me the golf cart uh, simply to make my video it's pretty awesome here it's a Tuesday morning as you can see super quiet you know a lot of people the young families have moved here so a lot of people are working right now so it's a mix of everything okay so the final and third pro of Palm Beach National in Lake Worth is the location so the location of this neighborhood is super ideal so there is a grocery store Publix that is 
close nearby. You actually just take a back road right to the plaza. In that plaza, there is so much to offer. There is Toreros, there is the Brass Ring restaurant, there is a USPS mailing store that's located right in there. So if you need to ship a package, you could do it right there at that location. Uh, Turnpike is a mile to two miles, depending where you are located in the neighborhood that's super close by. The other main highway is only a 15 minute drive from here. So you get the feel of the large lot, privacy, and everything of this neighborhood without being super west. So, you know, in Palm Beach County, the more west you go, the more land you get. The more east you go, you have your closer to the water, you have more condo living, townhouses, things like that. That's what I find. You also have single family, but here you still get that single family, private, large lot feel without the association fees but you're still close to you know, downtown areas, which is a 20 minute drive. So location is definitely a pro in my eyes with this neighborhood. Um, and uh, so I also wanted to show you, you know, I wanna drive down the road, show you the different houses that are located, give you a better feel of what this neighborhood has to offer. So let's go ahead. Um, I decided to end this video in my car because it is hot. It is about 11 o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday and I was like out of breath and sweating. So I figured, let me get in my car, get in the AC and give you guys a feel of what the neighborhood looks like. And then we'll finish off with our last con. So here you are. So, so again, all single family homes, they range from a two car garage to a one car garage. As you can see, I mean, look at these lots. They are huge. This was actually located on a double lot. See, double car garage. That one has a single car garage. So definitely a different feel. Just different style homes all together. Some of the houses here do have uh, similar floor plans, but for the most part, a lot of the houses are very different. So you get the idea. That's kind of what the front of Palm Beach National looks like. This neighborhood is about just under a three mile radius. It's like a big rectangle. All right, so the last con of this neighborhood, con number three is that part of the neighborhood is located on a main road. So, and also you're gonna see some construction. They are um, adding fire hydrants to the main road area. But this main road, everybody comes through here. There is a middle school that's right down the street from here. So in the, you know during the week, in the afternoon, you get traffic from that. And uh, there's an elementary school that's you know maybe two miles right around the corner. Uh, but for the most part, this road, you have to deal with a lot of traffic. So if you are one of the houses that live on this main road, it's kind of what you have to deal with, um, you know, cars that are kind of going fast. Uh, the speed limit is 35 miles per hour, but I've already seen cars going much faster than that. Um, so just kind of dealing with that is kind of the big a con. Um, and that's our last con for today. All right, everybody, so those are the pros and cons of Palm Beach National, which is a wonderful neighborhood located in Lake Worth, Florida. And remember, I'm Betty Garz with Living Florida Life, and I've got your back when relocating to South Florida. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.